on another great, phenomenal edition of the Thinking Out Loud radio show. And guys, I have a very, very special guest with us uh, on tonight. Uh, somebody that is kind of like a bucket list interview of mine. Um, and I've known her for a long time and very, very proud of her. And so honored to have her on the show with us. And I can't wait to get into the interview. But before we do, I want to give her a proper introduction. She is an Emmy Award winning journalist and the co-founder of Lodge Freeway Media and a contributing writer for The Atlantic. Uh, in April 2019, uh, she debuted a new podcast on Spotify called Jamel Hill is Unbothered. Unbothered explores the news of the day and intersectionality between the world of sports, politics, music, identity, and culture. She's also the co-host of the popular Vice television show, Stick to Sports with Carrie Champion. I want you to give a warm, thinking out loud, radio show welcome, a new friend of the show and good friend of ours, journalist, TV, podcast host, and so much more, Jamel Hill. Welcome to the Thinking Out Loud radio show. Well, thank you for having me, Michael. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give me a pause. You gotta give me a pause? Okay. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, absolutely, no, thank absolutely. you for such a warm introduction. I really appreciate uh, spending the time with you. Thank you, Paul. Right, right, right. Guys, um, I've known her for a long time. Uh, so, so very proud of her. In fact, I wore the green and white because we are. MSU Spartans, Spartans for life, you know, we be green no matter what, good or bad or different. Right. Still <laughs> yeah, right now it's looking a little rough. Uh, right, right, I know it is. Basketball season, yeah, it was a rough season, I should say. But, yeah. you know, considering what I think they made the uh, tournament 22 years in a row, I mean, that's an incredible achievement, incredible run, and I know a lot of people a lot of Spartan fans have been very dismayed by what they saw this year, but I caution them to put too much stock into it because this is the most abnormal year that we've ever had in sports and in life, in most of our lifetimes. I mean, we should not underestimate the toll of a pandemic. You know, Michigan State's basketball team was pretty ravaged by uh, the pandemic, and I think in many ways we take for granted or we don't realize what these young athletes go through. Uh, right. As a result of that, uh, you know, you're talking about trying to play basketball in a pandemic when the scheduling's not the same, practice schedule isn't the same, how they even just basically have learned to cope is not the same, being on campus in an isolated experience, like, it, 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 look, put it this way, it, it, I, it'd be one thing if it, if they were an anomaly, but well, you're looking at a situation where Duke, North Carolina, Michigan State, all the top programs, Kentucky, went through basically the same thing. And I think that should tell you or indicate just how difficult this season has been. 